Back with you now, <laughs> November, hard times, nine ball. This match is between Santo Sambajon and somebody I don't know. Hold on a second. Excuse me. Excuse me. score yet. And uh, how's this cue ball going to work out? Lucky. Thin cut on the five here. He's, just, he's, he's watching, making sure he's not going to hit the nine on the way in, because if he does, he could scratch in the corner. Good speed. Looks like Santos is ready to close out the first game. Now, as far as his opponent, I, uh, I don't know who he is. And I have to apologize to you. I didn't even know this match was starting. I was playing you guys some clips. And Santos really is a very short guy. And I could not see over my monitors to see that he had already started his match uh, with, with, uh, with this young gentleman, so I didn't get a chance to find out who, uh, what his name is. Santos not comfortable. Uh, he's going to have to kind of force follow this ball to come two rails over. He miscued. Shout out to Bill Roach in the chat room. He's a supporter. Thank you, Bill, for all of your kind words and uh, and your and your help in the past. Um, he thinks this guy's a pretty good player. I think he's using a Sean Q. Hey, uh, what's your name, man? Just Billy. Billy Knight. Dyke. Okay, cool. Nice to meet you, man. Billy Dyke. Uh, I'm not, uh, you know, his name came up today. Something to the effect of, does anybody know who this guy Billy Dyke is? And the answer. 
answer to that question is uh, I don't. First game, Santos. It's a winner's, winner's race, Billy, winner's side. He's an so, actor. Oh, is he an actor? Yeah. Hmm? Yes. Oh, Billy Dyke. Billy Dyke's actually an actor, and uh, so it's always nice to have actors who uh, are interested in the game of pool. Celebrities and whatnot. I don't know if he is a celebrity uh, yet. about him if anybody in the chat room does I'm happy to take your I'm happy to field your comments uh, this is definitely a uh, Cosmo run here Cosmo referring to Perfect break with a uh, road map run out. Almost to the effect that you won't have to hit a rail to run out. Well, Santos goes off the rail there. Natural, leaving a natural angle. You can play this a couple ways. You can stun it or just use follow. Come around two rails like so. And Billy concedes this game. So it's now 2-0. Yeah. Santos going to six. Okay, I see a Mezuas de Tour match with him playing uh, Ernesto Dominguez. Billy played Ernesto. like Billy got five games or four games on uh, Ernesto in that match.
wear out. Is that the right way? Hmm. Why does it work when you do it? Uh, Billy's going to kick at this. Difficult to hit this ball. Uh, not a very... A lot of room for error here. He could come across the face of the four and scratch in the corner. He could also hit the nine. But you know what? He hit that about as solid as you could. But unfortunately, there's nothing for him to hide behind. Problem, Houston. Santos is, uh, he's now hooked behind the seven, so. What you gonna do? And actually kicking at this ball. Looks like he can spin past the seven a little bit. Maybe Massé a little. He's, he's playing to kick this in the corner. Missed it completely. Looked like he played to kick it in the side. Okay, let's see how Billy handles himself with ball in hand. We do know that he has been on a stream table before, so I'm not going to make excuses for him by saying he might be nervous. <laughs> But he probably is a little bit. Uh, uh, poor guy. It's like, gosh, you know, ball in hand, I can't do this. This is embarrassing. I know how it feels, Billy. I've been there, I've done that. And uh, I've also lost my ass to Santos before, too. <laughs> So welcome to the club, sir. <laughs> but you know, Santos is like his own worst enemy right now. He's getting way out of line here.
Ramin defeated uh, Fach Garcia, for those wondering, earlier. This is like uh, he gave himself a slug rack here. Five six is a good wired combo, though. Santos played safe. Uh, I'm going to guess Billy is either going to masse this. I like the masse better because when the cue ball's kind of stuck on the rail like this, Jumping, you're not going to get the cut that you want. Oh, this is good. What a nice shot. Billy Dyke. Welcome to Streamland. You have arrived. Pretty good safety, I guess. Uh, Santos kicked back and he left Billy open, but look where the four is right behind that 10. Wow. Good shot. Another safety played. Or was that a, I don't know what he just did there. The thing is here is uh, Santos is almost certain to play something creative. He's not one to just go ahead and play a crazy shot in an unreasonable situation. Santos plays crazy shots where you least expect it. That's what he does. Ramin defeated Fach Garcia. Four games to two. Oh, good. I got Russ Martin. Hello. How are you? And he's uh, texting me. He's letting me know that Billy is uh, from Oklahoma originally. He's a strong player. And he lives in Burbank now. He's an actor. And um, he's a Capricorn. He likes to play uh, 
tennis in his off time, walks on the beach. <laughs> his favorite color is purple. <laughs> Uh, just kidding about the last three things. Thanks, Russ Martin. Russ Martin, he plays out of the Foothill BCA in, uh, in the uh, Pasadena area. Good player, table at home, for those wondering. Always be careful of the guy with the table at home. By the way, Russ, we need to have a talk. Oh, yeah. Apparently, Russ has a chalk collection that we might be interested in investing and in taking it off his hands, or at least some of it. Yeah, Russ, we have a new Pinterest project that we're working on for, for the chalk <laughs> side of pool. So we, we, need, we, need, we need pieces of chalk from you. Russ's favorite color is green. He's a Sagittarius. Is he? And... Um, his favorite saying is, freckles are fun. Yeah, Santos is hitting them pretty good. That's going to be three, th three zip. Freckles are fun. So, you know, that's the commentator curse right there. Just when you say someone's hitting them great and, uh, you know, this guy's in stroke today, that's exactly the point at which they miss. So, Billy Dyke, you can thank me later. Billy went to kick that, a strong kick. You know, I tell you what, this guy's playing style reminds me a lot of my own. I'd like to play this guy. I said it. I ain't a scared.
Is my name in there? I've gone down the rabbit hole on Facebook, folks. Okay, let's see if Billy can pull off a clutch move here. It's 3-0. That was tasty. Can he do it again on these brutal pockets? This brutal table. Very nice. He's going to have to move the cue ball a little bit here, too. Nice work. Strong. Strong. Let's get, a, get you on the wire, boy. Oklahoma takes a rack. Nice shot. Solid stroke from this uh, young man here. But uh, possibly a little nervous opening up today on this uh, live stream table. And for those who uh, aren't aware, this table is brutal 
folks. This is a tough, tough table to play on. I like Truman and Jeff in that match, actually. Can you imagine if Truman had kids? are on, you know. <laughs> Okay, back now to the <clears throat> story of Billy here. Tough cut here, but very doable. And I'm not sure he even played to make the ball. Very intelligent shot. Funny though, because Just because it reminds me of my style of play, too. Mm. Well, Santos really didn't make anything happen with this shot. He's left... Uh, Billy open and Billy's already proven that he can he can shoot long shots like so his cue ball though 
You know, he sacrifi sacrificed good shape to make, for the sake of making the shot. He's going to have a tough shot now, especially with the pressure he's got going on. going to do it. Oh no, uh, one more game, so f four now to one. Tell you what, if uh, Santos isn't careful, I got a good feeling for this guy. He's 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 just having problems playing Santos right now, and I I, I get that. He's trying to play smart. He's, he's thinking very hard about all of his shots, um, but. Uh, I don't see a, much of a rhythm from this guy yet. Very methodical. Good shot. Good eye to make that shot. This is this is actually not an easy run. So he's got to get perfect on the three in order to uh, come across for the four ball. And these pockets are brutal. I'm telling you, man, I wouldn't wish, wish this table on my worst enemy. Well, actually, that's exactly what I would do. <laughs> but uh, uh, this, this table, just ha you have to focus so hard on on uh, pocketing the ball in the middle of the pocket in this uh, on this table, very. Very hard to cheat the pocket on this table.
Well, this rack's not over once again. Santos really still has a little bit of work to do on this particular rack. The three and the four on opposite sides of the table. And the six and the nine are making it difficult to provide uh, to provide adequate space there for, for the balls to, uh, I mean, you, you really just gotta get the right angle and not worry about it. That'll work. It just forces you to play above above these balls and and with the six and the nine there it kind of takes away the follow shot just in case you get out of line so you do have to get perfect Billy's looking intently. He kind of feels like he knows he's out of this. Tough to fade. Players like Santos Sambajon, I tell you. Is Santos tired too? Good shot, and like I said, if Santos is not careful, slowly but surely, our man Billy Dyke here is going to slide one bead after the next his way. table in particular is very <clears throat> is actually a little different the the pockets are cut differently than the rest of the room
My man, Rami Bakhtari. Goplaypool.com. Hey, you saw somebody put this poster up. I don't know what. Oh, nice. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. I hope, I hope you're in the finals today. Yeah. I hope it's you and Foch in the finals. I know. I know. I was just joking about. I was just joking about how many how many Foch Ramin matches I've streamed. I've, there's probably about six dozen. I could do like a whole DVD set on Foch. Yeah. I could do a whole DVD set on Foch Ramin. Nice jump shot. Yeah. Here you go. Uh, record this jump shot. Here we go. We're just talking to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're just talking about Ramin Bakhtari and uh, his jump shot that he played earlier and missed and scratched on. Santos. Santos is is uh, you know what his wick is running dry. I tell you that. going to be essentially a hill hill match Billy only has to go to four actually oh no race to five six this is from the winner's side my bad but this will not put Billy on the hill but it will give him a third game Three, Hill three, I should say. This is, uh, okay, Geraldine has a story about Eric Estrada from Chips. Please, go ahead, Geraldine. It's not that great of a story. <laughs> it's not great at all. It's just a story. Okay. <laughs> uh, about a month ago, Eric Estrada got pulled over in front of my office in Toluca Lake. The cops saw who he was took a selfie with him and let him go. Nice. <laughs> As we all stood in the window watching. <laughs> nice. That's strong. That's it. That, that's my story. Strong. <laughs> Didn't they do that for like Zimmerman? <laughs> like nine months ago when they pulled his, his many, ass how over. How many times has he been let go? 
<laughs> I don't know. Well, I guess uh, Mr. Bill Dyke is Billy is uh, hanging tough here. He's showing some prowess and a little bit of determination here to beat Santo Sambajon. Nice work. Score is 5-3. Okay, Santos will come back now. Billy will miss. Santos will come back now. I don't know if Billy's going to try to take this on as a safety. He missed it completely. Why did you just do that to him? Because I want Santos to win. Oh, you do. Okay. Well, you know, you, <laughs> at, least you're, at least you're honest about it. I always like the underdog to, you know. I like Santos. <laughs> oh, yeah. The score. the score's right. It's 5-3. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm brain dead. That's, I'm looking at the beads thinking they're looking at the beads. <laughs> Woohoo! It's been a long day, guys. I started what? What time did we start today? No, I don't know. I don't know. 11:30 or something like that. It's been a rough day. All we've had to eat is water and lettuce all day. <laughs> Never mind the Jack in the Box. You don't even promote promote those poisonous criminals on my live stream, please. Poisonous criminals. That's gonna do it, and. Uh, Billy's going to pack up his gear, and he's going to start now from the one-loss side. And Santos will once again probably end up in the hot seat with, <laughs> you know, a hot seat match with Jeffrey Ignacio or something like that. Sounds good to me. Yeah, sounds like, sounds like the hard times uh, nine ball monthly. But uh, we do get some other great matches, and that's, what, that's why we do this here, you know. Tough action here playing Santos. Unless he switches pockets yeah. with you on you one You hung in pocket. there, man. You hung in there. What's that? It's a tough table. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you play good, man. You play good. It's nice to see you play. Yeah. Yeah, hang in there. We might have you on here again. Billy Dyke. Where do you live at, Billy? You're, you're in a, what area are you from? Okay. You're from my house. Uh, somebody was texting us. Uh, it was either in the chat room or was it? Russ Martin. Russ Martin. You know Russ Martin? Yeah. Would you like to say hello to Russ? Hey, Russ. How's it going? <laughs> he's on the phone. No, he's, he's, he's watching the stream. He's watching the stream. Hey, Russ, man. Say, send something nice in. Special, <laughs> something special to Russ Martin. Just kidding. Yeah, I, I want a little uh, love gram from him. He could put something in there for me. Yeah. 
I need something. I need something encouraging after that match. Where do you usually play? On? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, where do you usually play on? I play a lot over at uh, House of Billiards in Sherman Oaks. Okay, I'm there quite a lot too. It's um. We're in Studio City. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm in Burbank, so it's it's probably the closest pool hall with you know tight tables. Um, I'd like to make it out here more. On the weekends, it's nice. I, I haven't been hitting this tournament up, and I'm going to start doing that. Um, but it, sometimes it could be a daunting drive, even from Burbank, to get out here. Oh, it's so. horrible. Yeah. <laughs> it, it can swing anywhere from 25 minutes to an hour and a half from, from Burbank, it, it seems like. over two hours one day. Oh, wow. On a Friday during traffic. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so I got to... Um, but yeah, I've, I've just kind of started getting back into it, so... so uh, be around more and I'm still in it so hopefully you guys will see me continue yeah good man well you know it's nice to meet you I, I just didn't know who you were and uh, I'll uh, I'll try to give you a card or something later all right man thanks Billy Billy Dyke nice guy you know like to start Okay. okay, we're going to take a break right now because uh, really there's Actually, nothing it's, going it's on. It's going to be a while. It's going to be a little a while. A couple matches. It's going to be a couple matches. So we got a little wedge in the bracket. In fact, he's I'll tell you to what. Finish, he's going to finish off the one loss side, yeah. and then you're going to get Santos and <laughs> Jeffrey Ignacio. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just like I said, it's Santos and Jeffrey for the hot seat coming up soon. So I'm going to hit some balls. I need to stretch and circulate my blood. I'm going to hit some balls. I'll be back in uh, five minutes, and then we're gonna. We're, I'm gonna. I'm gonna play on this table for a little. Maybe drum up some five dollars.